Hi there, this is Matthew B. Lamont. I know it has come to my attention that something happened. It was Patriots Day, 2013. It was the day of the Boston Marathon, and usually I'm not the kind of person who attends sports or plays sports because sports and I have a history of not getting along, and sporting events to me, in my opinion, are boring. So I just stayed home and uh, was working on a project. And then one day, during the time of the Boston Marathon, I heard a big loud rumble, a big loud roar, another big loud sound. I looked at the window, checked outside, and people were running, people were scared, and I thought to myself, hmm, must be something out of the ordinary. I filmed it, the crowd of people running, I just noticed that, my gosh, this doesn't seem too nice at all. And then I heard on the news that there was a bombing going on and everybody should be confined to their homes, stay home, until they track down who was responsible for it. And it's been like an entire week. I don't know how long it has been, but to me, it's been a week and I, was, and I thought to myself, a bombing here in Boston. This is not good at all. And what happened was that uh, they finally found out who did it and arrested them and everything went back to normal. But that pain, that pain of it all, and usually, while I do not like sports, still, ouch, these people have been training for years to get to the top. I'm saying just some are just here to have fun. Some are here just for the exercise. That's all. Nothing wrong there. If they, if they want to run, let them run. I don't care. I just don't like sports to begin with. So, what happened was that these people, they got injured. Some of them died. Some were hospitalized. And it's just terrible. People were panicking. Lives were lost. However, a little off, this is going to be off subject for a bit. I had the uh, DVD of the 1925 film, The Lost World, with extras, like a commentary and trailer, and deleted scenes and outtakes. And I want to return it back to the library, but I couldn't. But uh, when I returned it, and when I paid the fine, me akin to all the others saying, due to the due to the home confinement, the fine has been cancelled and lifted. That's all. Well, that took the stress off my shoulders. So, with the Boston Marathon bombing going on, I was kind of bothered by it. I was saddened by it. And then one day, it was 2013, and the reason why I brought the Lost World because I wanted to make a movie. For my senior thesis, a movie that was combining live action with stop motion animation. It was about this monster with a lizard like body, one eye, and tentacles over its face, long tentacles, and starts coming out of Charles River and attacking Boston. So I thought it was a good idea to do it, but later I thought to myself, I can't. I don't think it was such a good idea. And this this is because of the pain. I felt the pain of the people. I felt the pain of it all. And as a result, I scrapped the project and created Hail to the King, a king named Kong. This tragedy, I mean, I just don't think it's such a good idea to do a movie about a monster attacking Boston. I mean, it's been, it's been a bad idea. It's been like a few months. This was in the summer of 2013. It's been like a few months after the... Boston Marathon bombing and I want to make a movie about Boston being attacked? No, I don't. But I just heard that uh, friends of mine told me that, uh, oh, Superman Returns was made five years after 9-11. The original Godzilla came out nine years after the Hiroshima Nagasaki bombing. And guess what? Nothing happened. I've been told by many people, don't let current events get to you. So what? 
I mean, it's a bad idea to start. I mean, look at the Powerpuff Girls movie. It came out July 3rd, 2022. That's like 10 months after 9-11. Originally, beforehand, they were thinking of releasing September 2022. But no, they can't release it in a school month. So, no. It has to be a summer movie, escapism, yada yada yada. But... When I saw the movie, the Powerpuff Girls movie, I was shocked and I found out why it flopped. It's because some scenes looked like 9-11. I thought to myself, yeah, I can see that it looks so 9-11-ish. Good thing they released it in July, but not on September, because it would coincide too much with 9-11. And I agree with Ebert and Roper a bit. I mean, you might remember the episode of Ebert and Roper, where they review the Powerpuff Girls movie, and they just went on their high horses and ranted their heads off, saying it looked too much like 9-11. Yeah, I agree. However, this was months after 9-11. Superman Returns came five years after 9-11. Five years. And the other film, Godzilla, came... Nine years after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings in Japan. But, on the other hand, it just came months after the Lucky Dragon No. 5 incident. And speaking of Godzilla, when I watched the movie Godzilla King of the Monsters, the battleground was Boston. I thought to myself, are you kidding? Six years after the Boston Marathon bombing and you chose Boston to be the battleground? instead of something like Chicago? I mean, the first film, The Battleground, was in San Francisco. The second film was Boston, while Godzilla vs. Kong's Battleground was in Hong Kong. But Boston? Seriously? You might remember watching my videos of the trailer reaction video to Godzilla King of the Monsters. And at the end, I think it was the second one, it said, hashtag Boston wrong. I'm just saying what's a bad idea is a bad idea. Now, on April 14th, sometime in April, when I was just finishing off Hail to the King, a king named Kong, I just found out on the news that uh, a friend of mine, an actress, Lynn Chrissy, I think she was, she was in The Shaky Recovery. She was one of the actresses. And she was interviewed. And I was like, oh my gosh. She survived the Boston Marathon bombing. And even my senior thesis animation professor, Steve Sabotnik, it was like, oh my gosh. That actress, who now became my friend, went through that pain. Oh my gosh. I felt so sorry for her. Just like I felt with all the other athletes. It was a dark time. But she got over it. Yes, current events can sometime become a bother to us that we must find a way to get over it. Overcome it. Get it off our backs. And not look at anything that reminds us of the current events. There was a documentary on Netflix called American Manhunt, the Boston Marathon bombing. And I looked at it, oh my gosh, they made a documentary about that. And there was also a movie made in 2016 called Patriot's Day, starring Mark Wahlberg, Peter Berg, and Kevin Bacon. And I was like, oh my gosh, they just made a movie out of it. Seriously? Yeah, I know they caught the terrorists and arrested them. But still, when I go to the movies, I go there for one reason, and that is to get my mind off the troubles and stresses of everyday life. Movies that exploit 9-11, and the war on terror, the economy gone bananas, or COVID-19, I would just avoid them. That's just my opinion. So, God bless the souls of the Boston Marathon bombing. And to those who survived, God bless them. So what do you think? Just comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Matthew B. Lamont saying, have a nice day.